The next measurement we'll be practicing is mass, but this time we'll use the triple beam balance. The triple beam balance gets its name from the three beams going across. You'll notice the middle beam is in increments of 100 grams, 100, 200, 300, 400, all the way up to 500 grams. The furthest beam from you goes in increments of 10 from 0 to 100 grams. And then the front beam goes in increments of 1 from 0 to 10 grams. Before we get started, we always want to make sure that our balance is zeroed, that the line matches up. For your purposes, we're going to try to have them zeroed beforehand. But if you need to ever need to adjust it by turning this dial gently to get the zero to line up. But again, for your purposes, we're going to try to have these zeroed out for you in advance. Today, we're going to measure this paper weight from my desk. I'm going to place it up top. And to start measuring, I'm going to move the middle beam weight in increments of 100 to 100. As you move it, you will feel it. When you slide it, you will feel it click into place. With no movement, I'm going to go to 200. it drops all the way down so I know that is too much so I'm going to come back to 300 and now I'll start using the back beam and go in increments of 10 grams so I get to 20 grams and it drops down that's too much so I'm going to bring it back to my 10 and now I'm going to move the front beam in increments of 1. And you'll notice when you're moving it, the front beam slides where the other two lock in. I'm going to keep sliding until I get some movement. This is where you want to be patient because I'm a little bit below, so I'm going to slide it back a little bit. Back a little bit more. Until I get it as close to that zero line as possible. Go a little more. go and it settles in at zero. So now I see this line is between the six and the seven and there are ten lines in between. Again the longer one is always five and it looks like it is at, as I look closely, between the six and the seven. So I'm going to go call it at the six. So I have 300 plus ten plus 6.6 .6. so this would be 316.6 again 300 plus 10 plus 6.6 .6 grams 316.6 grams let me write that down for you while you're looking at the screen I add up my 300 grams my 10 grams, and finally my last 6.6 .6 grams for a total of 316.6 grams. And that is the weight, the mass of my paper.